Hi guys, I'm going to show you a couple quick tricks for your crazy sandwiches, things you can do to make it look a little more convincing. I do want you to stick with food items, things that are edible, not things that are gross. That is going to be one of the things I'm grading you. Did you pick something that's not super gross? Did you pick something that's school appropriate? That said, let's talk real quick again about how to get your ingredients in here. You can drag and drop or you can save to your desktop. It might be useful to hang on to the different pictures you choose. Anyway, I've got my lollipop here. I'm going to use the magic wand to select all of the white and notice it put it on a different layer than my other ingredients. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and click off of it. And I'm going to go back and make sure I've named my layers because it's going to be really important for you guys to keep track of what part of your sandwich is on which layer. So we're going to call this lollipop. And I'm going to hit command T to transform. If I don't like using the keyboard shortcuts, I can go up to edit, free transform. We're going to talk about what some of these other things do in this particular project. But you're going to come around. I'm going to rotate this here lollipop because I want it to kind of be sticking out of the sandwich, but also laying in it. You want it to look like it's resting on the sandwich. And here's where some of those other transform states can come in. If I choose perspective, watch what happens. You can transform it in different ways. So you may need to play around with what sort of, that's the same thing basically. There you go. What sort of transformation you're going to make to make it look like all of your objects are laying together. I probably need another object right here. So we're going to drag and drop the hot dog that I've got. I'm going to delete the white bits. Keep in mind, if this pops up where it says the smart object is not directly editable, you hit OK, and then you go up to layer, and then you go to rasterize, and you choose smart object. Now I will be able to do stuff to it. So let's get rid of those shadows and extra parts that we do not need for this project. One of the things I'm going to be grading you on is, did you get rid of the white spaces? So the office clock says 3 o'clock already. I don't know how it happens. But you all should leave and go enjoy the beautiful day. And I'm not going to Mrs. Venner is nice. And I'm actually going to play with the order of my layers here because I want this hot dog tucked behind my lollipop. So let's go ahead. We're putting a sandwich in a sandwich. I'm going to click and drag on the lollipop layer and put it over top of it. That looks a little more convincing. Now here's something that's really cool. I've got this cool pizza here. I need to get rid of that rest white bit that I missed. And I want to make it look like it's laying on top of this. And I could do that by like kind of positioning it. It's not on the right layer order. So I'm going to drag it up there and that looks all right. But in real life, that piece of pizza would not be sitting so stiff. If your pizza is that stiff, you probably shouldn't be eating it because it's probably stale or petrified. Here's a cool thing you can do. Under edit, and right by the transform options, there's something called puppet warp. Once you click on that, your cursor changes to a thumbtack. The thumbtack is going to be the points that you use to move your object. So I'm adding three points, one in each part corner of the pizza to kind of think about like how the pizza is in real life, how it weighs, how it moves when I hold it in my hand. Now I'm really hungry. If I click and drag on these points, I can make it shift and droop without really doing too much harm to the pizza. It distorts a little bit, but I can make it look like it's laying there. Once I'm happy, with what I've done, squish. I can hit enter and that puts the pizza laying on top. Now I might need to do a couple other things to it. I might need to rotate it. I might need to make it a little bit smaller. I can go back in with that puppet warp, place those points again. You have to do it each time. And this time I think I went a little too crazy with that bend. And it does distort the image a little bit, but for a fun project like this, 
that would be all right. You can also hide layers. Like I want the pizza to stay up top there. So I'm gonna click on this eyeball and hide it because I'm gonna do a couple things to my hot dog real quick. My hot dog doesn't look like it's going back into space and I want that. So I'm gonna go over to perspective warp. No, I'm not. That's not what I meant actually. I'm going to go to T transform. No, 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 no. Oh, I, I'm in the, uh, the perspective tool. Don't apply. So ignore that part. We're going to go down to edit, transform, and perspective. And I'm going to have the hot dog look like it's going a little bit back into space. Kind of like that. Maybe shrink it a little bit. And go back to my normal transform, which is just command T. And having that sit right on there right on the layer of the bun. So there's all different sorts of things you can do to your objects in order to get them to look like they belong together. Make sure I can tell what your ingredients are. Like I still am not super happy with this pizza. I feel like it's too big. It's covering up too much of my hot dog. You know what I think it needs to do? I think it needs to go the other way. So while I have this selected, I'm gonna go up to edit over to transform and I'm gonna go down to flip horizontal. Watch what happens. Pizza going the other way. You can also flip vertical if you so choose. And I'm going to continue to stack all sorts of yummy, crazy ingredients until I can get this very top layer, which is my bun, over top of them. I'll add a cool background. Right now I'm just working with plain green because I don't want to miss any of the white spaces. Let's get growing.